In this video, I have a double treat for you. Firstly, I'll be running a full demonstration in Dovetail's Train Simulator 2019, picking up and delivering mail using a travelling post office carriage. And I'll also be showing you before and after scenes using RW Enhancer software. So let's get into it. In the United Kingdom, the TPO, Travelling Post Office, was first started in around 1830 and was probably the first attempt anywhere in the world for transport of mail by train. In the United States, the RPO, Railway Post Office, started some 25 to 30 years later and it has been claimed this was following a visit to the UK by a number of senior railroad presidents. Back in the United Kingdom, this was formalised by the passing of the Railways Conveyance of Mails Act in 1838, which required railway companies to carry mail by ordinary passenger carriages or specialised travelling post offices, as directed by the Postmaster General. And the Army Post Office even had their own TPO carriages. The United Kingdom's Royal Mail Organisation decided to suspend all transportation of mail by rail in late 2003, and the last TPO service went out on the night of the 9th of January 2004, thus ending the sorting of mail on trains in the United Kingdom and ending over 160 years of this tradition. Luckily, several TPOs have been preserved and were gifted to various preservation societies, while sadly, most were sold for scrap. A number of TPOs are still operational and are regularly demonstrating pick up and dropping off of mail at the routes used by these preservation societies. Meanwhile, in the United States, the mail transportation peaked with over 9,000 train routes being serviced, covering more than 200,000 miles each day, with several dedicated trains often carrying over 300 tonnes of mail daily. After 113 years of railway post office operation, the last surviving railway post office running on rails was between New York and Washington and was discontinued on June 30, 1977. As in the United Kingdom, a number of these RPOs were preserved, while the only known operating demonstration is at the Minnesota Transport Museum in Wisconsin. So now let's have a look at the TPO on the Riviera route of the 1950s, showing the delivery and pickup of the mail at a designated point, while at the same time I'll be showing before and after shots of the RW Enhancer software in action. OK, this is where we start the delivery process, beginning at Heathfield Up Platform. We'll be passing Tane Grace Holt. This is a simple demonstration of the Great Western Railway's travelling post office exchange process using line side apparatus and a travelling post office coach generally referred to as a TPO. Before we embark on the run, however, I will show a short session on the differences between the SIM without RW Enhancer and the same with RW Enhancer, along with the settings I use. The demonstration starts with a quick view of the train waiting in Heathfield, along with a view where the train finishes at Newton Abbott. On this trip, I am driving a 2900 class locomotive number 2909 named Lady of Province with a single TPO coach. Normally such a train will be heading an express service with up to a dozen passenger coaches or fitted vans behind the TPO coach, sometimes as well as several other TPO coaches in front or behind. These services are run by the Great Western Railway but timetabled by the post office under the direction of the Postmaster General. After a quick look around the locomotive cab, I will get started.
I will cover briefly RW Enhancer settings used, and please note I'm using default settings except for the bloom, which I've cut back to 25%. I'm not a great fan of bloom at all. And I have yet to test the performance settings, so they've been disabled for this video as well. I will run the following short 5 second clip crossing from no RW Enhancer to yes full RW Enhancer using the settings just mentioned. Then it's off we go. There will be several switches back and forth from RW Enhancer on to RW Enhancer disabled. See if you can pick them. One hit. Look at the clouds in the sky. I am running with Rail Driver in the 32-bit version of TS2019. There seems to be an issue with Macro 3 Works in the 64-bit version, and Rail Driver relies on this to support it in Dovetail's Train Simulator 2019. I must say, for a default locomotive, this 2900 class model is quite good. This run is all downhill, so we'll cut the regulator right back, with the reverser set low as well, and to keep under the speed limit, I'll use the brakes a number of times. I notice this track does not seem to have any track conditions set, so there's no cab sway, at least not on this route. Looking at the rear of the coach with this camera setting, it looks like the back of the coach is almost off the rails. A strange distortion, eh? Here is one time I had to apply the brakes. The driver needs to keep the train speed above 15 miles per hour to provide enough bag inertia. And while a top speed of 70 miles an hour has been designated, I'm not sure I'd like to try that. While I drive past Tain Grace, the travelling post office staff will be preparing the mailbags for the exchange.
As soon as the bags are ready, the travelling post office staff will slide open the doors, pull in the traductor arms and attach the outgoing bags. However, at this point, nothing is swung out of the door for safety reasons. This is only done when the trackside marker is passed. At this point, if you are observant, you may note the marker that signifies the exchange apparatus is 200 yards ahead, another one of the reasons I don't think 70 miles per hour is practical here. The marker can be a 9 foot wide whiteboard or a 25 foot long plank parallel with the rails. Both are seen here. Now we switch to the pickup drop point to watch the exchange. I will be running this operation through four times, so you get a good opportunity to get the full operation pier in your head. The third time from a different angle, and the fourth in slow speed of the video, not the train. From here the train will stop at Newton Abbott to drop off and pick up more mail. This is where we leave the train, which is destined for drops further down the line. And if you'd like to see more videos the same as this one or the preview you've just seen, please use the subscribe button below this video. And don't forget to click that bell, which guarantees you'll get that notification when every new video is uploaded. I hope you found this tutorial enjoyable and of benefit. If you have any thoughts to share, please add a comment below the video. I always check the comments and appreciate every one of them. But now, that's it from me. Hooroo!